What's up YouTube and welcome to a, another super quick install and a review I guess um, for a local North Carolina product. If you know us you know we love that. Lagatha is my daily driver and if you guys know anything about me or my wife we carry every day. So sometimes in Jeeps there's not a whole lot of space. So there's a local company Molly Platform Solutions that has made a solution for us Jeep JK owners. So what we're gonna install today is the Molly Platform Solutions holster mount. And you can see it's got the JK there um, to show that it's for us. So we're gonna get the holster mounted up. I'll actually show you the pistol that I'm gonna be carrying in this. Stay tuned. try to do this as a tabletop review if you will that just kind of shows you how to get this set up uh, before you install it in the Jeep because I imagine it's much easier to get your holster mounted on while you're here so if you're wondering what weapon that I'm gonna be using um, I just picked up the SIG P365 as you can see this is clear all of the magazines on the table are empty so just want to first off point that out if you're ever using your firearms always treat them as they're loaded and when you're doing something like this make sure they're unloaded so first things first when you buy this molly platform solutions jeep jk holster i think this jk is such a cool touch um it's just going to be the mounting platform so you can see here that you have all these different areas for your holster so that you can adjust the cant of your weapon to suit your needs. Um, and then you've got the molly here on the front. So the cool thing is your gun's gonna, your gun is gonna be back here in the holster. So you're able to use this front to hold magazine carriers or anything else that you wanna use a molly system for. So it's a pretty cool, um, well thought out design. And again, this is from Molly Platform Solutions. It's a company located in High Point, North Carolina, so it's actually very, very close to us, probably an hour away. So first, when you buy this, you need to know what kind of holster you're gonna run in it. So what I did, because I didn't know how I was gonna like it, I went on Amazon, and this is a, you can see their little soldier there. It's a Warrior Land um, Kydex holster. And I've gotta say, I picked this one because it comes up so high and your magazine release buttons are actually covered on both sides. So it really, you know, being in a Jeep, if you have the tops off or anything like that, there's a ton of dust. So this covers a lot of the weapon to keep it from getting super, super dirty. So if you're wondering the reason that I went to a SIG P365, um, it is really solely for the form function and size and so what I mean by that is this thing is a dream to carry because these magazines the regular magazines are 10 round 9 millimeter you can fit 10 rounds in this and it's the size of your hand so this thing is tiny and that's a 10 round magazine so if you got bigger hands now you can put the magazine with your pinky extension and it feels phenomenal in the hand. Well, I didn't want just 10 rounds. So they also make a 12 round magazine. And so you can see this is beautiful. And for my hands, this is actually the perfect setup. So I wanted to push a little further and see 
what the 15 round was like. So now in this tiny gun that's the size of my hand, that's a 15 round magazine. 15 rounds of nine millimeter in that. And again, feels phenomenal in the hand. So, so now let's look at the holster. This is the Warrior Land holster. This thing fits beautifully. I wanna add that this holster came from Amazon and was only $17.99. And look at how much of your weapon is now covered and protected from the elements. So, what you also need to remember, very important, this holster, because of the way that it's going to hook to your Molly platform system, you want the gun to be on this side. So, you need to order a left-handed holster, a left-handed inside the waistband holster, or a right-handed outside of the waistband holster. And so those bolts are gonna go right in there, and that's how this is gonna mount. So, let's do that first. Luckily, the holster came with an Allen wrench to, to remove these if we need to. So we're gonna work on getting our holster mounted first. All right, so we're gonna remove these screws. I know you can't see because it's black, but you just have to take my word for it. So I put the rubber pieces back on because I was thinking I didn't want the vibration between the metal as the Jeep bounces and things like that. So hopefully these bolts will be long enough to still mount the holster and get through. I'm getting it a little tight. I'm gonna keep it loose enough to where I can move this because I'm sure I would like the cant angled back just a little bit with my holster. So once I get it where I want it, then I'm gonna snug it down. And so I'm just trying to create a, a straight line here. So now I'm gonna tighten it. All right, that feels pretty, pretty tight. So let's see about our pistol. Beautiful. So now let's go mount this thing in the Jeep. So okay. I'm gonna show you real quick how this thing mounts up. So you're gonna basically mount it right there on the bolt that is holding up your uh, that's holding down your your seat and so you can see it just fits that form beautifully and so your weapon will be right there easy to reach so i'm gonna put this thing in real quick it's just pulling out one bolt and fastening this down so it doesn't need a whole lot of install help but we'll put it in real quick and see how it works I just realized how dirty my floorboards are. I apologize, YouTube. This was uh, unplanned. So now that we have the bolt out for our seat, we're ready to mount our Molly Platform Solutions holster. So you're just gonna stick it here. Once you get it flat, drop that bolt back in. Again, 18 millimeter. Nice and tight. All right, guys. So I'm in the driver's seat, and this thing takes up no space whatsoever. Um, it's actually using the little pocket area that was here to set on. So there is no movement to it at all. So. That is beautiful. Perfect. And so again, with that Molly platform on the front, now I can put magazine pouches along this whole section to carry spare ammo. This is perfect. My leg, I'm six foot one, doesn't hit it. 
I love it. So guys, I have been playing with this thing and manipulating it, and I just can't tell you how happy I am with it. It's so easy to get your pistol in and out. It's, it's at the perfect spot. I mean, absolutely perfect for you to just get this thing quickly and be ready. So again, Warrior Land holster for the SIG P365 off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, $17.99 for this holster. And what I like about it, I picked this one because look at how much of the weapon is protected. So I'm still gonna be able to get down here to my four wheel drive, pull it back, and this is up out of the way. So couldn't be happier with this. Even if I run the 15 round mag, you can see that it's not gonna cause any issues. It's got plenty of room back here. Very, very well thought out. Good job, Molly Platform Solutions, for really coming up with the best um, possible situation for carrying your pistol in a small Jeep Wrangler. Thanks for watching, guys. That was the Molly Platform Solutions Jeep JK holster mount. Um, I fucking love it. I think it is so much cooler than I thought it was in the pictures. So big shout out to those guys. Keep making outside of the box products and keep making them locally. I think that thing was, it was less than $100 and I would have paid $100 for it once I see it and I've got it mounted, how perfectly it's bent, uh, the fit, the finish, the coating on it. Um, definitely worth a hundred bucks, but I think it's less than that. So go check out Molly Platform Solutions out of High Point, North Carolina. As always, thank you for watching Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. And Lagatha says bye. Oh, hey, and don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell and all that good shit that YouTubers are supposed to say. Do that.